Good morning. So we're gonna find a seat, comfortable seat. I am up on a block. So if you can come up onto a block or any sort of cushion to lift the hips and let the legs come down. If the legs don't come all the way to the mat, just bring pillows or something underneath them. We'll start in just a nice easy pose. So get yourself comfortable. You can pull the fleshy bits out, find your sits bones. And if you're on a block, you can scoot quite forward on the block. So it's almost like the pelvis is tipping off the block forward. And let's just take a couple of breaths together and arrive here on the mat. And tuning into the effects of the breath on the body, that sense of expansion as you inhale and as you exhale, feeling where the hips and legs are connected to the earth. Go ahead and find one more big full breath in. And exhale, full breath out. We're gonna bring the hands together and then interlace the hands, turn the palms out and just take a little C curve in the back, look down at the feet, press those hands forward. And then we're gonna inhale the hands up overhead. Take a nice stretch. And then a little side to side, and then back to center and back down C curve in the back. So looking down at the feet, press the hands forward, and then inhale, palms towards the ceiling. And then just a little side to side. And then you can release the hands, wiggle out the fingers, bring the hands to either side of you. Spider the fingers up or bring a block to lift the floor. We'll inhale the right hand up. Left hand is on the mat or a block. Let the right shoulder come down. So instead of reaching it, let the right shoulder come down away from the ear. And then just lean over towards the left. You're going to take a couple breaths here. So you're actively pushing the floor away from you. And then leaning over. And then inhale that upper hand up and change other side. Leaning over, pressing the floor away. And then rising back up, we're going to take a turn towards the left. Bring the right hand to the top of the left thigh. Get nice and tall here. And then taking a little twist. Two more breaths here, staying nice and tall, twisting a little deeper on the exhale. And then inhale, let the hands float up. Wiggle out the fingers, turning towards the other direction, bringing the left thigh, left hand to the right thigh. Nice and tall on the inhale, and then exhale, twist. And then go ahead and release. Wiggle out the fingers overhead. And then we're gonna bring the hands out to the side, thumbs up and then thumbs down. So rotating through the shoulder girdle, taking a little C curve, to look down at the feet, thumbs point towards the floor. And then inhale, let the thumbs slide up. Maybe you can take them behind you, draw the shoulder blades together in the back. So again, a little seated cat and cow shapes here. Looking down at the feet, C curve. Exhaling and then inhaling, looking up, arching the back. One more like that. So just a little C curve, exhaling, thumbs down, inhaling, thumbs come up, maybe float behind you, arching the back. And then just wiggle out the fingers, jazz hands. I mean, we're gonna go ahead and come off the block, sit back down, bring the Left foot into the inner groin, turn towards the extended leg. So it doesn't matter which leg you start with, but we're gonna turn towards the extended leg, bring the heart towards the kneecap, just gently walking the fingertips out, bending and folding over that extended leg. And you can stay on the block here, but it can sometimes be a little bit awkward, so. And just keep exhaling the heart towards the kneecap, just gently coming with the Walk yourself back up. We'll turn the body towards the bent knee. 
And now opening up the side body. So you can bring the right elbow into the right thigh or the elbow of the extended leg into the extended thigh. Lift up that opposite arm and then lean and then over towards the extended leg to open up the right side body. So turning using the elbow to turn the heart, open the body towards that bent knee and then reaching towards the toes of the extended leg. Three breaths here. Mm-hmm, one more. And then lift yourself all the way back up. We'll change legs. So bring the foot of the extended leg into the groin or the thigh. Extend the opposite leg. So first we'll start by turning the body towards the extended leg, walking the fingertips out, bringing the heart center towards the kneecap. And just breathing here, extending the head towards the direction of the feet. So you can find another couple breaths here. Keep the head in alignment with the rest of the spine for now, other than dropping the head and putting any extra pressure on the neck. One more breath. And then go ahead and press into the mat. Walk yourself up. Turn towards the bent knee. Adjust your sits bones, adjust the pelvis any way you need to. And then bring the elbow of the left leg, left arm into the left leg. Inhale, right hand up, leaning, reaching over towards the left foot, opening up on that side body of whichever leg is bent. Using the elbow and the thigh to open the chest up forward. And breathing here, three more breaths. Mm -hmm. And then on an inhale, we're going to come back up, bring the feet together in butterfly, open the toes, open the, the, as if you're opening a book with the feet and just flapping the knees out a little bit, getting into that hip joint. A couple more breaths here. All right, go ahead and take one more little flap of those butterfly wings. And then gently release the effort. You don't have to stop it, just release the effort. And then we're going to flip over and come into our tabletop. If you want to pad the knees, go ahead and grab a blanket, a towel, or knee pad for underneath the knees. Or you can fold your mat. Wrists are under shoulders, knees are under pelvis. Start with the toes tucked and just taking your movement any juicy movement that feels good here circles swaying make sure you take it evenly in both directions or both sides and then find your way back to center back to tabletop we'll take our little cat cow flow here so go ahead and untuck the toes take a full breath in and on the exhale round the back and cat release the crown of the head towards the mat Push out all the air, and then you can press the bum towards the heels. Really push out all the air with the full exhale out of the body. On the inhale, coming forward into tabletop, tucking the toes, finding cow, arching the back, looking forward. And then just carrying on with your own breath. Exhale, untuck the toes, round the back, coming back into child's pose. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, Inhaling forward into tabletop, finding cow. And then exhale, reverse the movement. Go ahead and find one more round on your own. We'll only meet in our child's pose. And once you're in child's pose, you can settle in, let your head, forehead come to the mat. If you want a little bit more opening in the shoulders, you can bend the elbows, bring the hands in prayer behind the head. Let's take three to five breaths here. Good. 
go ahead and take one more big, deep, full breath in. As you exhale, letting the heart come towards the mat, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other on the back. If you have the hands in prayer behind the head, go ahead and release them down, back into the shoulders, and then coming back into tabletop on the inhale. Take your movement free form. All right. From here in tabletop, we're going to lift the right leg, extend the right leg long, bring the ball of the right foot onto the mat, open up the toes. And then we're just gonna press into the hands and push the pelvis. So we're opening up the back of the extended leg, the calf. Stay here. Take another full breath in, full breath out, pressing into the ball of the foot. And then releasing any effort, coming back into your neutral tabletop. We're gonna take that foot, I'm gonna look opposite of you now, right foot out to the right, sole of the foot's on the mat. And then same thing, and you can start by just taking a couple small movements to start with. And then maybe if you wanna get more traction, walk your hands forward and the same thing, just press the hips back. So now we're targeting the inner groin a little bit instead of the thigh. And see if you can just stay here for a few breaths, pressing the hips towards that heel of the back of the bent knee. And then bring yourself forward back into tabletop. We'll go ahead and bring that right leg back behind us, lift the right leg, bend the right knee, and just take a little hip circle here. Take it in both directions. And then place both knees back on the mat. Take some movement if that feels nice. And then same thing, other side. So starting with the left leg extended, just pressing into the ball of the foot, activating the hands and arms, keeping the head as much as you can in line with the rest of the spine rather than dropping the head down. Take another full breath in, press into the hands, press the arms, full breath out, stay with it. And then rock and roll forward back into your tabletop. Take that leg out to the side, sole of the foot is on the mat. Walk the hands forward if you need more traction and then same thing, just press the pelvis back. We've got another couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, bring yourself forward. You're going to bring that leg back in to our tabletop and then lift the, bend the knee and take it a few hip rotations there, make a circle with the knee. Perfecto, back into your tabletop. Go ahead and take any movement that feels good. And then we're gonna very gently press ourselves into a downward dog. So activate the hands, press the index fingers pointing forward. So you have an L between the index finger and your thumb as much as you can. Tuck the toes, press in the hands, lift the knees, keep the knees bent while you bring the arm bones alongside the ears. Let the heart come forward. You can just pause here in a little puppy pose opening up the shoulders, and then go ahead and extend one leg long. Take a full breath in, full breath out, and then the other leg long, bend that first knee that you straightened, and then just walk the dog. Go ahead and just walk the dog for another couple breaths and then see if you can find a moment of stillness. And I'm just gonna show you a little trick today. If you are having trouble getting your heel all the way to the ground, you can take the space 
between the big toe and the first toe of the other foot and sort of just press that around the Achilles and let the weight of the foot bring that heel towards the mat. So just a little something to play with. All right, go ahead and take another full breath in, full breath out. Find your way back to symmetry. We're gonna soften the knees and walk the hands towards the feet, kind of forward fold to the back of the mat. And just pause here, hang here. Once you're here, we're gonna gently walk the hands over to the right. Take a full breath in, full breath out, staying in our forward fold. And then go ahead on an exhale, walk the hands over to the left. Take a breath there, the head hang. And then go ahead and walk the hands forward, soften the knees, and we're gonna roll up to stand, lower back, middle back, upper back. Put those arms float up and then draw a line back to the heart center. Press the thumbs on the sternum. All right, let's take a few rounds of ocean spine with this very silly angle of the camera. Um, go ahead and lift, uh, sorry, release your hands, mountain pose. Take a moment there, feel your feet beneath you. Open the toes up, rock and roll on the feet. Spread the toes. And we're just gonna take about three rounds here. So on your next inhale, from standing, let your hands float up. Look up at the hands and then exhale into your forward fold. Just dive in. Take a couple breaths there, let the head hang. Release, keep the knees soft. Let the whole spine just dangle over the thighs. And then on your next inhale, soften the knees, rolling back up, lower back, middle back, upper back. Let the hands float up, coming back up. And then draw a line back to heart center. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, release the hands to the side. Two more like that. Inhale, hands floating up. Exhale, forward fold. Hanging here for a moment in your forward fold. Seeing if you can release the weight of the head, release the weight of the arms, keep those knees soft to protect the low back. On our inhale, floating back up to stand, rolling up the spine, letting the hands float up, drawing a line back to the heart center, taking a breath at the heart center. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. And then exhale, hands to the side. On your next inhale, last one. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, dive forwards. Take a breath there, let the head hang and dangle. On the next inhale, float yourself back up to stand. Let the hands float up and then let the hands come back to heart center. We'll take a little pranic bath here. I'm gonna come down so you can see, but you can stay standing. I'm just gonna get into the shoulders a little bit. If you wanna come onto your knees and hairs pose, that's fine too. Forearms together and then scooping up and then letting the backs of the hands roll together, reaching up and brightening the hands as you come back around to where you started. So getting that action as if you're scooping something up, pouring it over you, letting the backs of the hands float up and then back down. Go ahead and take a few more like that. Can get a little dance. Woo. Last one. And then go ahead and come back to standing. Give everything a good shake. And then release any effort at all. Find your way to the top of the mat to find your Tadasana mountain pose. Rock and roll on the feet, open the toes. Soften the knees, allow the tailbone to relax. Squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back and then release, drop the shoulders down. On the next inhale, let the hands float up overhead. On the exhale, forward fold. Release completely into the fold, release the head. See if you can bring the hands to the mat. Soften the knees, we're gonna step the right foot back and bring the right knee all the way down so we're in a low lunge. You can keep the back toes tucked or untuck the back toes. 
And then we're just gonna let our pelvis come forward and down here. You can look forward or towards where the floor and, and wall meet. And just letting the pelvis, the front of the pelvis open by just letting it get heavier. Knee is stacked over ankle, not going past that area, past that point. Take another full breath in. As you exhale, let the pelvis get heavier. And then go ahead. We're going to come into our half splits. Walk yourself back. Extend the front leg long. And point the toes towards the ceiling. So left leg extended long. Left toes towards the ceiling. And then here again, head is in alignment with the rest of the spine. Letting the heart come towards the knee. Just a couple breaths here. Go ahead and come back onto that left foot in the front, left knee over left ankle, tuck the right toes. We're gonna press ourselves up and make our way back into downward dog. On the way, you can rotate out that left hip by bending the left knee, taking the circle, and then finding your way, downward dog. Same thing, go ahead and walk the dog out. And then see if you can find stillness just for a moment. On your next inhale, we'll float the right leg up, bend the right knee, and take the right knee in a circle. Take that circle both directions. And then stepping the right foot forward between the hands, left knee comes on the mat. Back toes can be tucked or untucked. Same thing. Pelvis is just going to get heavy. Looking forward towards the, this is the wall and floor meet. Another couple breaths there, just letting the pelvis get heavy. You can find one more big, big, deep full breath in. Whew, let that pelvis get heavier on the exhale, full breath out. And then walk yourself back, half splits. Let the heart come towards the knee, toes pointed towards the ceiling. And just pause here. Another full breath in, full breath out. And then we're gonna walk ourselves forward. Lift the back knee and just step that left foot forward to meet the right and we're back at our forward fold. And just releasing into this forward fold. Once again, you're welcome to walk the hands over to the left and right or you could have a hold of opposite elbows and just dangle there. Keep the knees softly bent, protect the back. And then find your way back to center. And from our forward fold, we're gonna roll up to standing, letting the hands float up overhead and then back to heart center. Let's open the legs up wide. The best camera angle ever. <laughs> legs open wide, heels in, toes out. So the feet are pointed out about 45 degrees. And just bend the knees a little bit so you can see where you're at. If you need to adjust the feet and then relax the tailbone. So we're gonna come from our star pose, star, star pose, arms out, legs out into a goddess. And then inhale up. And we're gonna take a few rounds of this. So you can adjust each time to go a little deeper into the pose, allow the tailbone to relax, You're inhaling up, expanding everything, and then exhaling back into goddess. Take a couple more. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, last one. And once we're here in the last one, you're gonna really release. Maybe you wanna find a little lightness, a little dance. and then draw ourselves all the way back up, open up into star. We're gonna turn the right foot out so it's parallel with the short end of the mat and turn the left toes towards the other end of the mat. You might need to take the feet wider 
And we're going to start to find our way into triangle pose here. Now, I've been noticing with triangle pose, we want to we, we want to keep the whole body opened towards the long end of the mat. So if you notice you're looking down and dropping the hip, see if you can bring a block or something and then just open up towards the long end of the mat. And then once you're in triangle, let's just take the arm in any direction that feels nice to roll the shoulder out. And then find your way back. Soften that front knee. Find your way into warrior two. So the left foot, knee is bent over the left ankle, arms out. And now we're gonna come into side angle. So with that knee, front knee bent, we can place our forearm on that leg and then find a direct line from the toes to the fingertips and just take a couple breaths here. And then inhale yourself back up into warrior two. We'll reverse the warrior. Turn the front palm towards the ceiling. Reach for that back leg extended. And reverse the warrior. Take a few breaths here. All right. Back into our warrior two. Go ahead and turn the feet. We're going to go ahead and go straight into the other side. So turn the right toes towards the short end of the mat. Make the left foot parallel with the other short end of the mat. Starting with our triangle. So go ahead and get your block. Reach forward towards that extended leg. And then bring your hand onto the block. Or if it's just hanging in midair, that's fine too. Or on the shin, just reaching for the floor is going to oftentimes turn that hip down. So see if you can today open everything up towards the long end of the mat. Pausing here. And then go ahead and roll the shoulder out any direction you want to move the arm. And then soften the knee. We're going to find our way into warrior two. So the front knee now, the right knee is bent over the right ankle. The left foot is parallel with the short end of the mat. And just take a couple breaths here. And then we'll gently send that front forearm on the front thigh, find side angle for a breath. And then keep that front knee bent. We're gonna reverse it, reach for the back foot. Take another full breath in, full breath out, and then unwind yourself back into warrior two. Straighten the front leg, turn the toes towards the front. Now this time we're gonna see if we can take the feet parallel, the outside edges of the feet parallel to the edges of the mat. Interlace the hands behind you, draw the knuckles towards the heels, open up the front of the body. And then when you're ready, forward fold, let the hands float up overhead. If the palms come together or come apart and it's hard to keep the hands clasped, you can extend the first finger that can help keep the palms together. And just stay here, see if you can find a few more breaths here. Come out of this, we're gonna soften the elbows, soften the knees, come back up to standing, Expand everything out, find our star pose, bring our heels in, toes out, and then find our way to goddess one more time. And once you're in goddess, see if you can just find some space to relax and move here. Allow the tailbone to tuck in or relax in. Just take whatever funky goddess movement you need today. And then inhale back up. We're gonna to heel toe the feet in and then coming back down into our squat, into our Malasana squat. And finding just a couple breaths here. All righty, take another full breath in, relax the tailbone, 
relax the pelvis, that whole area around the sacroiliac joint. And then we're going to find our way onto the bum, onto the mat. All right, we're going to take a few back bends today. So we're going to come into starting in our fetal pose, rock and rolling side to side, feeling the spine beneath us. And then bringing the feet towards the pelvis so that you can reach down and graze your fingers on the Achilles. Tuck the shoulder blades in. We'll start with bridge pose. We'll, so we'll do a couple roll-ups here. I like to keep my fingertips pointed towards the ceiling and the elbows bent so I can use the arms a little bit when I get up to the shoulders. Don't put any pressure on the head or neck. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, let the belly drop towards the spine. Start pressing the feet, lift the pelvis, and you can take some of the weight onto those arms, walk the shoulder blades together, roll up onto the shoulder. Take an inhale at the top, and then on the exhale, rolling back down. See if you can take it as a massage, keep the pelvis lifted, set the vertebra down one at a time from the upper back, lower back, or upper back, middle back, and then lower back, set the pelvis down. Take a breath at the bottom. And we're just gonna move on the exhalation. So exhale, belly button towards spine, pressing the feet, lift the pelvis, roll up onto the shoulders. Walk those shoulders in if they feel like they're not flat on the mat. And then again, on the exhale, keeping the pelvis lifted, rolling down the spine, keeping the pelvis lifted till the very end, set it down. All right, we're gonna take one more. This time we're gonna see if we can hold it. So on your next exhale, belly button towards the spine, Pressing the feet, lift the pelvis, roll up onto the shoulders. And this time you're welcome to interlace the hands behind the back. Keep pressing the feet to lift the pelvis. Let's see if we can find three more breaths here. So really keep lifting those hips. Take one more big full breath in. Release the hands if you have the hands behind the back and then get ready on an exhale to roll back down. Once you arrive down, let the um, rock a little bit and then take the feet out to the sides. So take the feet wider on the mat, all the way out to the sides and then let the knees go over to one direction. And then over to the other direction. So just windshield wipe out the legs just a little bit. Go ahead and take one more each side. And then we're gonna find our way back to center, hug the knees towards the chest. Rock and roll as much as you need to, and then interlace the hands around the front of the shins. And then once you're at the center, see how it feels to bring the nose towards the knees and just squeeze everything shut for a full breath in, full breath out. We're gonna rock and roll in the back to come back up to seated. You can turn to one side and bring yourself out of fetal pose, or you can Rock and roll on the spine and have a little play. Eventually back up to seated. All right, we're gonna take a big hip opener this morning um, with a little seated eagle. So that's gonna start with a cow face pose, which you can tell me why it's called this when I get into position. So I have the right knee bent on the bottom and I'm gonna stack the left knee on top. Now, if this brings up the hip, I'm gonna see if I can lift the pelvis, bring the hips down. If the knee, if this IT band super tight and the knee just doesn't wanna stack, I can bring a block, anything underneath it to so that the legs are supported. All right, this is called cow face. Take, once you're here, take the heel of the hand, bring them to the outside of the heel and just give yourself a little massage. So I'm just pressing, the heel of the hand into the outside of that calcaneus so to bring like the body weight into it. Elephant walk yourself a little bit from side to side. Take another breath here and just 
give it some pressure. And then see if you if you've lifted the hips, if you can sit yourself down as symmetrically as possible. All right, get comfortable there. Take the arms out. So I have the left leg on top. Whatever legs on top, you're going to swing that arm to be on the bottom. So left arms underneath the right. So the same leg that's on top is the elbow that's on the bottom. So here we are in eagle arms and then lift the elbows up to the level of the chin. Pause here. And then we're just gonna floss the shoulders. So you can exhale, arms down towards the knees, inhale, let the elbows rise up to the level of the chin. And just move through this a little bit. Exhaling, elbows down, inhaling, elbows up. If the inhale and exhale cue don't work, just breathe. <laughs> Go ahead and take a couple more, elbows down. And rise up. And then see if you can bring the elbows up to the level of the chin and just pause here for a moment. A little pretzel twisting this morning. Take a nice big breath here and on the exhale, unwind the arms, take your arms out to the side. And again, just thumbs up, thumbs down, just like we were doing earlier. So when the thumbs are down, getting a little C curve, when the thumbs are up and behind you, getting a little arch. One more, just for fun. And then go ahead and bring everything down. We're gonna pick the leg up and come into dragonfly before we come on the other side. So in dragonfly, we're just gonna take both legs wide apart and just see how it feels to tiptoe ourselves forward in this wide leg straddle. So if you're just coming here just a little forward, that's fine. Just be where you're at. You don't have to push it. Just kind of lean into it gently. Lean into the edge gently. Another full breath in, lean into the edge. And then walk yourself back up. This time we're gonna bring the left leg in front. Take our cow pose to the other side, stack the right knee on top as much as you can. Use your block to hold the leg up if it's not, you know, sometimes we might start here. Right, and it's not that it won't eventually come down, but we want to support it along the way. So find whatever you need, stack the knees, and then we're gonna come into that little self-massage, bring the heels of the hands onto the heels. Maybe you wanna lift the pelvis. Maybe you wanna just give yourself some compression there. If it feels like too much to lift the pelvis, just lean into it, lean into it. Give a little compression on the heels and the feet. You can even use this, you know, when you have a lot of time to walk the hands up and get into the arches, really give yourself a nice foot massage with just your own body weight. Alrighty, take another breath here and then settle in. We'll take the arms out to the side, let the shoulders drop down away from the ears. This time, the right leg's on top, so we're gonna take the right arm underneath, bend the elbows, bring the palms together and then flossing the shoulders, lift the elbows up and then down. Go ahead and just floss those shoulders out a little bit. Just moving with your own breath. Taking the elbows down. To the, towards the chest and then lifting them up. Go ahead and find one more and then we're gonna bring the elbows up to the level of the chin and just pause there for a breath. And then go ahead and unwind the arms. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And then unwind the legs. This time we'll take both legs out in front of a staff pose. Legs are 
side by side parallel. Move the fleshy bits out from underneath you. Walk the fingertips forward and just bring the heart towards the kneecaps. Just a little forward fold. You can keep the knees soft if there's any tension in the low back. Sometimes we do this by even wrapping the arms around the thighs with the knees bent and then just straighten the legs. So whatever is working for you this morning, it's a little forward fold. We're not going to stay here too long. Just a couple breaths. And then gently take yourself back up and bend the knees. We'll come back onto the back. Once you're on the back, rock and roll, a little side to side. Bring the knees towards the chest. We'll take our twist here, our double leg twist. So bring the feet back down to the mat, press into the feet, lift the pelvis, scooch the pelvis over to the right, set it down, legs up, knees bent. A block or some sort of spacer between the legs to keep the femur bone in alignment with the hips. Legs are coming over the opposite direction as we move the hips. So legs are coming over to the left. Arms are opening up to the side. Pause here. Get comfortable. If the opposite shoulder, the right shoulder is peeling up off the mat, bend the arms, press in the arm bones, lift the shoulders. See if you can shimmy down that lifted shoulder. Pause here. And when you're ready, look the eyes towards the right, let the head drift over towards the right, you can close off the eyes and just breathe here. We're gonna be here a little while. So allowing your breath to do the work, inhaling, feeling the spaciousness in the body, exhaling, moving into that space, letting gravity take over, bringing you a little deeper into the shape with every exhalation sinking into the mat and the floor beneath you. You're welcome to close the eyes off. And if you let the head drift over towards the right, just see if you can roll just the head back, pointing the nose towards the ceiling, and then take a few more breaths here. And then go ahead and remove the block. Reach down, remove the block, and then tip to those feet back to center. Pick up the pelvis, find your way back to center, back into that fetal pose, rock and roll a little side to side. And then back into your bridge part pose, we'll take it to the other direction. So go ahead and press into the feet. This time we're taking the pelvis over to the left, just a little bit, lifting those legs 90 degrees, placing the spacer between the knees, and taking the legs over to the right. Take a breath or two here. Let yourself feel grounded, noticing what feels like it might be able to relax or what may feel lifted. If that opposite shoulder is lifted off the mat, press into the arm bones, shimmy your shoulders down, and then just pause and settle in for a moment. And then when you're ready, when you're ready to open up the upper back and neck, go ahead and let the eyes drift towards the left, let the head follow. And then just deepening that breath even more here, noticing where the body's touching the mat. See if you can let those places get a little heavier. The exhale.
Go ahead and find a couple more breaths here. Go ahead and roll the head back to neutral. Nose pointed towards the ceiling. A few more breaths here. And then go ahead and reach for the block. Remove the block. Tip to those feet back to center, lift up the pelvis, find your way back into fetal pose. Rock and roll in the back, draw the knees towards the chest. And then see if you can find your fetal pose back in the center and draw the nose towards the knees, close everything, shut all the joints, take a full breath in, ah, full breath out. We'll release ourselves back down. And then just find happy baby for a moment. Peace fingers around the toes or the outside edges of the feet and just rock and rolling here just for a moment to find that low back on the mat and just relaxing the bum. Just to relax that low back on the mat, relax in the pelvis. And then we'll take the legs out long, finding our way to short Shavasana. If you want to bring your bolster underneath the knees, do that now. Roll the shoulder blades down and under you. Let the eyes sink into the skull. Close off the eyes. Just sink into these places where the body is touching the mat. With each inhale, expanding. And with each exhale, grounding. Allowing yourself to just sink into those places. The body touches the mat, touches the floor. And then staying with the breath. On your next inhale, see if you can just notice the wind, the air coming into the nostrils. And once you can feel that sensation of the wind coming into the nostrils, just noticing, following that breath, what's it doing? As it comes in through the nose, coming into the lungs, how's it affecting the rest of the body? And then keep increasing that inhale, just the tiniest bit and following it down into the, into the lungs, expanding that physical sheath of the body. And then slowly, as if you're breathing all the way down the arms, legs, waking up the feet, fingers, the toes. Until so you're ready to wiggle out the fingers, wiggle out the toes, take any movement that feels nice. Rolling out the wrists, even taking the head side to side. And then just bringing the hands towards the belly as you wake up the body and just feeling the warmth of the hands, the lower rib cage, warming up that diaphragm. See if you can find three more big breaths here. Feeling that sensation of those warm hands over the lower part of the rib cage. And then gently walking the feet towards each other, taking the arm bones up alongside the ears, wiggling out the fingers and the toes, bending the knees, and then rolling over to one side or the other. Find yourself on your side in fetal pose. Take a breath here. And then when you're ready, using the arm you're not leaning on to draw yourself back up. Take a big breath in and then drop your chin towards the chest and honor your own efforts today. Thank you for allowing me to guide your practice this morning or if it's evening where you are. Namaste. Namaste.